All right, we got some changes coming. You're seeing this here, which is going to change to this. That's right, we changed the silver into the white. So today's project is going to be ditch light brackets from No Low Designs. Hey kids, no good deal. Like I said, today's video is for the Nolo Design Ditch Light Brackets. Got two of them, powder coated, looking good. Got the best seller on Amazon for flood and spot LED lights, and then a $10 wiring harness to hook it up. So inside the bagger box from Nolo Designs, you're gonna see two little 3M pieces of automotive adhesive strips and you're going to take your brackets and you're going to stick these right there and what that's going to do is once you bolt these into the hood bolts this is going to give you an extra a third point of contact uh, and all you're going to need for this is a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet i don't know if you guys knew this or not but there's actually two hood support positions for the ridge line so this is like regular one, just checking your oil, blah, blah, blah. And then this one will extend it all the way back. Check it out. So that's using that second support. As you can see how much room you have now inside the engine compartment. And what we're gonna do is loosen up these two here and these two over here. What is that on there? Take the plastic bag that they gave gave you inside your shipping and use that to put the top part in there so that when you're over here doing stuff that if you do hit your paint uh, nothing gets scratched I'm gonna try doing one at a time and see snug that up there like that. I can do this one without anything moving. Yeah, that seemed to work. Yeah, so go ahead and do the top bolt, slide it in, keep it off a little bit, tighten it just enough so nothing moves and then loosen that bottom one and push it right in there and then you have no alignment problems. Hit the And you can see that that tape is stuck on there. So it gives it that third point of contact. Pretty awesome. Let's close it and see if I uh, did okay with the, the hood alignment, shall we? So of course we haven't put any uh, lights on it yet, but that's what it looks like. All the lines are good. good so depending on which ridge line you have all these buttons could be used some are empty I have a sport so I have two empty ones so I'm gonna pop off probably this guy here and uh, put my light switch there wow this kit I got is super clean look at that it is all shrink wrapped all the way even the switch has a quick release on it up here in the relay and everything that is all looking good so what I'm gonna do is hook this all up to the battery and then I am NOT going to drill any holes in my truck so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the wires down in through here through the opening and then bring it in through the door probably up right in here this area here and then run it down in behind and there is the uh, switch took and put a post there for my negative ground so I can use that as a jumper or my inverter and I got this attached there ran the wire popped a little hole in here ran the wire there's against the firewall all the way across into 
here. Made another little hole on the strut cover. These bolts here, check this out. They literally, that one's actually closer, but they're right there about the, on the paint. So I'll probably have to cut these. And the tolerances on is of course making sure that bolts far away from there i might put a little piece of a heat shrink on that just to make it look a little cleaner also i have the hood all the way up as far as it'll go you know this one's your regular one but when you want to work on your ridge line i use that one so you want to make sure that you're not going to hit the wipers clear and then when you put the light on you know you can see it's hitting out here if you try to center it so I'm going to push it in, and I got a little bit of an angle on it to, uh, you know, face out off the road a little bit. So on this light, I just want to tell you the back of it, it's kind of like one of those little marble games. So what you need to do is get one of them lined up, and then uh, once you have it attached on the lines, like one is attached, you just slide it over until you can get the other one lined up with the groove right there, and then put it in there. That's my... Uh, my tip since it's like that it's pretty funny all right there's the first one so i've been working on this i was trying to figure out what these two little slots were and i think i want to say it's for a zip tie so i got a couple of zip ties here and we're going to zip tie the wires onto that Put a little uh, white cap on that one. The other one's real short on the other side. 